So, I assume you've completed the power supply, as mentioned here, and your switching circuit, which is mentioned here. The next stage, which we recommend to construct, is your audio amplifier. Now, this section right on top of VFO, these dot lines indicate the VFO section, right above it is your audio amplifier. This is a small IC that's used for amplification, and again, audio amplifier has very few components that go in. Uh, as you can notice here, there is a capacitor here, and right on top there is a resistance right here. Uh, can you make that out? This is the one. There's one more resistance right here. A couple of electrolytic capacitors. Another resistance is near this fat man out here. So, this jumper uh, over here, this is the jumper for your pot, and this one is for speaker. So the speaker output would, would be taken from this place, and as you can see here, I have this speaker, and it's got a small connector. So whenever I want to test, all I got to do is connect it right here. There you go. So you can see this connected here, and this is the, the 10k logarithmic part for controlling the volume. So if whenever I want to reduce or increase the volume, this man goes out here on this jumper. As you can see, this is the one right here. It gets connected. Okay, so assuming you have looked at the circuit diagram and you have fixed all these components, what you've got to do is switch on the power supply, uh, make sure your switching is working before you proceed to this stage, and if everything is working fine, what you'd get is a humming sound coming out from the speaker. And this sound, the humming sound, should increase and reduce as you turn the pot. So as you move it clockwise and counterclockwise, the volume should reduce. And if you notice that the volume is increasing when you're going counterclockwise, all you got to do is just change the orientation of these pins. That's all you've got to do. And once you start getting an audio from the speaker, you're well set to move on to the next stage, which will be your side tone oscillator.